In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to set up planet gravity uh, using my Circular Gravity Force 3 package. Uh, Circular Gravity Force 3 can be purchased on the Unity Asset Store, and it's in the links in the description below if you guys want to check it out. And I would also highly suggest you guys check out the rocket tutorial and the car tutorial before jumping into this one. This one's a little, little bit more advanced. Um, so let's go ahead and go to Prototypes and Empty Scenes. And then let's go ahead and go to... So we want to go ahead and um, just make kind of an empty planet for now. So let's go ahead and just right click and say 3D Objects uh, Sphere. And let's make this thing big. So we want to make it like 20 by 20 by 20. And then let's go ahead and move our planet up. And we'll just put it like right there. Focus on it. Uh, just press F. And I don't know, let's make it a little bit prettier. So let's find like something that's a surface. So let's go, uh, no, no, that looks okay. Uh, what is this called? Uh, default detail floor. So we'll just select that. And maybe, I don't know, put the tiling here like 10 by 10 so it doesn't look too crazy ugly. Okay, so we have our planet right now. So first off, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and center on it and go up to Tools, CGF, 3, Wizard. And we're going to want to basically set up um, kind of an area of gravity for this thing. Um, so we're going to go ahead and select 3D. Um, size, uh, we'll go ahead and set it to 20. Um, force power, um, we're going to actually put this quite up. So it's going to be like 800. And the reason for this is we're going to be using um, uh, planet gravity for the force type. So if I select force type, we're going to go ahead and, well, gravitational attraction is what we're going to use. And force power is basically the uh, intensity um, when we use a gravitational attraction. Um, so let's go ahead and select force mode. We're going to hit acceleration. And then we're going to go ahead and create. And now you see we got kind of some sort of planet gravity thing going on here. So let's we also want to make it so that this is actually negative. I actually put it positive. So we want eight, negative 800. And let's drag something into here so we can kind of see it actually take effect. So let's go ahead and go under prefabs, 3D, uh, physics objects. And let's go ahead and maybe wall of cubes for now. So I'm going to go ahead and drag that onto the surface. And Maybe I'll just kind of rotate it a little bit so that we can kind of see it get plumaged to the to the planet. And I'm going to go ahead and change my camera angle to this. So select my camera, Control Shift F, and then hit play. Oh, <laughs> it's kind of working. Um, so there's two different ways that you can kind of do this. Like one is you can either go into um, I think it's edit uh, project settings and then physics. You can also change it to zero. Um, I'm not going to do that here, but that's just one solution. So if you're wanting to set up all your um, planets so that it's just the planets that are using the gravity, then you can do it that way, or you can, um, or you can do it another way, which I'm going to show you. Um, so if I go ahead and select my CGF here and I go to special effects and physics effect we want it to be no gravity. So that means basically anything outside of this area is just going to use the whatever the physics is set up outside of that. But inside it's going to be no gravity um, and it's just only going to be using um, the forces that we apply to it. Um, and we're also going to want to maybe set this time effect to one second. So that means when an object leaves outside of this area, that means it'll be no gravity for one second and then it'll fall to the ground. That way it gives us a little bit of time to um, mess with things if we want to. Um, so that's kind of my solution. You guys can kind of do what you want. Also in the cart, um, I think it's the demo scene car planet demo that I have out there. Um, that's how I have all these set up as I have these planets set up so that there's no gravity on them. And then the world I actually have it just using the regular gravity. Um, so let's go ahead and hit play again. And you'll see that those just kind of get sucked in to the planet there. And okay, so I'm going to go ahead and delete my wall of cubes here. And I'm going to kind of show you guys uh, a few little tips and tricks on kind of how to get this set up. So, I mean, for the most part, I kind of have a few tools in here that help you 
um, kind of align objects to the center of the planet. That way, if you have a character kind of walking around the planet, it kind of aligns it to that. And keep in mind, this is all physics based. So like, you're gonna have to, like if you're trying to figure out how to make controllers for a character running around on the planet, there's a lot of things that you're gonna have to do yourself, but um, this kind of sets up some of that gravity so that you can kind of kind of play with things a little bit more. Um, but some of the tools I have in here is, let's just go ahead and, uh, for example, let's just go ahead and create a 3D object um, uh, with a capsule. And we're just gonna pretend this is the person and we're just gonna kind of move him over maybe down here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate this just a few times so that there's maybe a few people. And we'll just have, yeah, a party here. And let's hit play. Oh, well, maybe I should actually give them some physics. So let's uh, uh, hit add component, rigid body. So let's add a rigid body and play. Uh, let me move my so you see that they kind of all get attracted to there. Um, but they're people, I mean, so we're kind of simulating these as people and they're not really standing. So, I mean, one of the biggest problems that you kind of have with a lot of these planet games is you have to figure out how to make them kind of center to um, the planet, basically, so that they kind of walk around it. Um, and I have a few little tools that you can kind of use to get that to work. Um, so if I stop playing here, if I go ahead and select my CGF object, which is the gravity, and go to, um, let's see here, constraint properties and align to force. And then there's also a slurp speed. This means this is the speed at which the objects rotate, um, it, how long it takes the objects to rotate towards the center of your planet. Um, we'll just leave it at eight for now. It'll be kind of a little bit slow, but you'll kind of get the idea. So if I hit align to force, and hit play, you'll see that they all now are actually aligning to the planet. And if I go ahead and move my planet around, they kind of, so you see that they kind of align to, to it. They actually are kind of like skating around the planet. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you guys can make a skating planet game and it would be awesome because <laughs> there's really no friction or anything that's kind of stopping them so we probably want to maybe put some drag on these characters because they're just going <laughs> to kind of um, skate around the planet <laughs> okay so yeah let's go ahead and do that let's go ahead and select all these and maybe give them a drag of like one and I'm going to go ahead and maybe do an angle of 0.5 too um, and then we'll hit play. Let me um, go ahead and change my camera here to face the planet again. So they're all kind of like that. And kind of at any time, I could actually go in here and select, actually let me go ahead and hit gizmo here so that I'm in my scene I can actually see my, my gravity effect. If I actually hit my uh, circular gravity um, thing here and just disable it, you'll actually see like them all kind of fall down. <laughs> I turn it back on, they kind of get stuck back on the planet. So you can kind of turn planets on and off if you want to. Um, okay, so like let's say there's a few different things. So let's say that I didn't want, let's go ahead and take maybe, I'm gonna go ahead and under physics objects, under the 3D prefabs, I'm gonna go ahead and select um, this uh, column structure and we're gonna go ahead and kind of align it to planet is the best I can. I don't know if this, this will work too well, but let's go ahead and try. I kind of want to get it as aligned as possible so that way the thing actually stands up when I let it go. Um, we can try and see if that works. Um, but you'll notice here if I play it, that these objects are actually aligning to the planet too. And that's not something I really want to do. You see how the the box, oh, let me, let me, actually let me, let me go ahead and parent my um, planet to the CGF so that way when I'm dragging this, this thing around it actually drags the planet too. Um, but you'll notice all these objects are actually see how the columns are actually aligning to the planet too. I don't really want that because it just looks a little bit weird. Um, but I do want my players to be aligned to the planet too. So it's, there, it's kind of a, it's kind of an interesting problem. Um, 
but yeah, you'll you'll see these these columns. Yeah, see this column right here. It's it's facing there, and we don't want that. We just want the column to actually fall when we want it to do something. Um, so in order to solve this, there's a few. Di there's three different options here under the um, constraints properties, and you'll notice there's a game objects filter, a tag filter, and a layer filter, and it's almost kind of set up the same way as the filters um, work outside of the circular gravity force, but let's say let's just do this with tags so like let's say i select all of my um all of my people here my capsules and i just assign player to the tag so that all these guys have the player assigned to the tag and then let's go ahead and select our cgf and then we want to go to tag filtering and we want to say only affect listed tags and you can also do the opposite of where you don't affect listed tags but let's just say we only want to affect listed tags and we want to go to tag list and we wouldn't just add one here and then just type in player because all of our all of our players are the tag is player and if i hit play here You'll actually notice that this thing is trying to kind of stand by itself and it's not getting aligned to the planet. And if I go ahead and select the planet and kind of move it around a little bit to kind of make it fall, you'll notice that the, the physics kind of acts accordingly to what a planet would be like, rather than the, actually them having the aligning it. Um, let's go ahead and I can kind of move this around a little bit more. We, But then you'll also see all the players are actually aligned to the planet properly and the other objects aren't and they're just kind of uh, kind of getting simulated. Um, another example of this would be let's say I'm gonna go ahead and delete all of our players here. Oh so I could I could flip it around here just for the heck of it. Um, so don't affect listed um, tags. So this is basically gonna um, affect it's gonna make everything aligned except for the players. So if I hit play and I move my planet around. You'll actually notice that that's actually the columns are aligning, but the players aren't. So it gives you kind of some options of filtering out um, things that you want aligned and other things that you don't want aligned to the planet. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and close this filter. Well, I'm going to go ahead and reset this so that there's nothing in it. Um, so that's kind of an example of the tag filtering. You can also do this by object too. So like I can actually select a certain object I want and just do it by game object and that's a, it's really specific if I want to do it that way and then also layer if I want to do it by a layer um, and that's over here if you want to if you want to actually align them by a layer you can do that too or just or yeah um, so let's do one more example kind of, of um, how this thing how this aligning stuff works a little bit and let's go ahead and delete our column structure and I'm gonna go ahead and drag um, the car object in here and that's under prefabs 3d player and we want to drag car CGF and this one's already kind of hooked up uh, if I hit play here it's probably gonna freak out a little bit um, let's see actually let me check my CGF here let's go to yeah so it's it's aligning and let's say I want it really strong like a hundred you're actually gonna see like the car freak out here yeah so it's like really tripping out and the reason why this is freaking out right now is because the tires are actually trying to align and also the frame of the car is trying to align and we don't want that we just want um, uh, we just want the frame of the car to actually be aligned with the planet and in order to do this we just select the CGF here and then go to game object filters and only affect listed game objects and let's say one and what we're going to do is we're going to go to our CGF car here and I'm going to select frame and I'm going to drag it to the CGF object or the C or the object list here. So basically what I just did was I told the planet to basically only align the frame of the car, but everything else is fine. So if I hit play. So now you'll notice that the car works fine. And that's kind of an example of being very specific on what you want to be aligned to. So the only thing that's being aligned to the planet is the actual frame of the car. And I mean, I don't even have to really align. I, I Actually, I don't think this car, I don't even really have to align to the planet. I think actually the gravity kind of takes over a little bit and you can kind of not have to align to the planet with this guy. But um, if you flip over and stuff, you'll, you'll have problems and your car won't work. <laughs>
But if I move my planet around, it kind of acts accordingly, and he kind of flies back down to the planet. And if I turn my gravity off, I'll just be riding on top of the planet. Oh, there I go. Anyway, that's just kind of a quick overview of how how to kind of mess with planet stuff. Um, yeah, um, you guys have a good one.